Hey, what's up? How do you feel about getting a new surface tank? I feel great, because I need one. Yay! I made an excellent discovery earlier. There's this like stupid secret menu thing that you have to access to change the date and time on this machine. And normally you have to press a very precise spot in both corners to get to it, and it sucks and I hate it. But I realized if you put in a random password, you can press this little menu button and it brings it up in one go, and it's great. And I pressed it by accident, and it's... Yeah, so, that's good. The best discoveries are always on accident. Yeah. So what can you do now with that secret menu? Change the time once I figure out the machine password, which I still have to email the guy about. Nice. <laughs> one step closer. Absolutely. There's a story to this granite surface plate, and I'll get to that in a minute. So we were at the Elliott Metzger Joint Open House just last week. They sell CMM machines. And I was talking with one of the guys and he said, I think there's a granite table from a CMM machine just hiding in the back of the open house of the Elliott Metzger building. And so I started to track it down and then I asked Ricardo and then I asked him and then we asked somebody else. And I think it is, I think it's over here, I think it's over here. So then we were running around the whole open house. We didn't film any of it, we should have. Um, trying to find this thing during the open house. It was super great of them to take the time to come uh, help us track this thing down, but everybody got super curious. So if you take a look at it, it, it was a CMM machine at one point, a very small one. And uh, it was, I think it was a super old one. So it stopped working, so they scrapped all the electronics and just threw it away, but this is still really good iron. Or, or granite, um, so they just kind of hung on to it. And then I said, let's work out a deal, because we need this. Uh, so we totally worked out a deal. They were awesome about it, and uh, and they even delivered it. Is it liftable? Yeah, we'll, we'll, you know, okay. we'll be able to lift it. I had no idea how heavy it was, like 200 pounds, 500 pounds, I don't know. But if the two of them can lift it, then it, then we can at least shuffle it around the shop. It's like three something. Sweet. Yeah. So the... Both of them have been asking for a granite surface plate <laughs> since they started here a year ago. Um, and especially now with the lapping machine gauge, we need a super flat surface to verify that the gauge is right or wrong. And it is off. Oh, how much? Is it off? Uh, a seven thou. tenths. Yeah, it's almost a thou, yeah. Sweet. Now the real question is, how flat is the table actually? Yeah. So if we really want to get picky, we can have somebody come in and like lap it flat big, again. Yeah, big calibrated first. Um, laser calibration and all that stuff. I looked into it a little bit. It being a CMM table probably helps us a little bit. Yeah, it, it should, should, be, should be in better shape. Yep. You know, um, sometimes it's shop, you know, inspection tables people are using to move parts around the right. lot on. Yeah, there's some so, little surface scratches on the top, but not, yeah, nothing major. Not bad. So the surface plate that we got a few months ago, four, four, four months ago, something like that, um, it's right here under our Blade Show table coverings. Um, it's now become my desk. I put my laptop right here because I've lost all my working area over there. So this is like my temporary uh, desk. It's kind of nice to have a place, but it's nice to have the surface plate covered. When we need it, we just move all the junk off, um, use it, and uh, yeah, we have used it quite a few times. It's not something we use every day, so we don't need it accessible, but it is accessible. And uh, yeah, it's super nice to have. And eventually, you know, this, this won't be a desk, it'll be a usable surface, but for now, this works fine. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and uh, enjoy.